Hello. How old are you? Eight. Me too. Why do you wear pyjamas all day? The soldiers. They took all our clothes away. My dad's a soldier, but not the sort that takes people's clothes away. When you meet the love of your life, time stops. And that's true. Your mother was never supposed to marry me. She was engaged to somebody else. Forget it, kid. Don't waste your time. She's out of your league. You don't even know me. Sure I do. You were hot stuff back in Hitler. But here in the real world, you got squat. Now, I may not have much, but I have more determination than any man you're ever likely to meet. He's a kid. That's why he doesn't have a record. 30 milligrams of codeine every four hours. Do you concur? I concur. Dr. Harris. Yes? Do you concur? Concur with what, sir? Allez debout, Philippe. C'est qui ce type Autour de toi, tout le monde s'inquiète. Comment il est grand, il est costaud, il a deux bras, deux jambes, un cerveau qui fonctionne, il est en bonne santé. Trop long, là Les gars des cités, ils n'ont aucune pitié. C'est ce que je veux. Aucune pitié. Voilà, c'est bon comme ça Attends <rire> Now, I can't be specific about the heroes and zeros, but our protagonist is a hungry animal. <laughs> There is a lot of money hanging in the balance. Our antagonist explodes on the scene like a millennial firework. You kill people, and they give you a reward. Hmm, better they are bigger the reward. I need your help. I'm looking for the Brittle Brothers. However, I don't know what they look like. But you do. <laughs> Don't you? They caught my wife and they sold her. But I don't know who to. Stan, you're angry. I used to be very angry too. So what's your story? My story? What happened to you? Between you and me? Like Meet Jack and Angelica and have a drink there, and if you'd like to come, we'd love to have you. We can just sit and talk, nothing. Uh, not a big deal, it's just relax, just be very mellow. I, I don't respond well to mellow, you know what I mean? I have a tendency to, if I get too mellow, I, I ripen and then rot. Going to see Charlie. Aren't we? What? Where are you taking me? I'll tell you, Carrie, if you'll be quiet. <laughs> we'll be in Englewood in a few minutes. You can get off there. After you've heard me, I won't stop you. Then all that about Charlie, that was just another lie. Yes, it was. I have to tell you something before you walk out of my life.